You know, why don't you feed him a banana or something? Oh, hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Um, what do you feed an armadillo? I have a... You know what, it's actually not important right now. You know what is important though? I'll tell you what's important. We're back at Totland, that's right. You thought we were done with that place, didn't you? It's like, no, 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 we're not going back. We're in Wano right now. We have Samurai, Kaido's a dragon for God's sake. Oh no, no, no. We gotta go back, guys, because we got some unfinished business to take care of in Candyland. That's right. This'll be Totland 2! So a number of months ago, you may recall, I did a video where I tried to tackle every single island in the land of Tot, as well as the ministers that ruled over them. However, minor snafu here, Totland consists of 35 islands, and we only knew 25 at best back then. And even to get that number, I had to stretch it to include some islands we didn't even know the proper name of. There were other islands that I got confused, like Milk and Cheese Island are actually the same thing. There is no Milk Island. But with the timely release of One Piece Magazine Volume 5, we not only have the reveal of all of the different family members of the Charlotte clan, but we also have the reveal of every single island in Totland and the ministers that rule over them. So let's tackle this for one final ride. Now obviously we're not going to be talking about the islands that we addressed in the first part, okay? There's a link, there's a card, you can go check that out there. We all know about Whole Cake Island, we all know about Cacao Island and what it's about at this point. We know Pori Pori Island is the land where Daifuku's mighty, crunchy, genie fished rules over everyone. And of course we know Komugi Island is the island that makes us remember the best damn love story ever put into anime. <laughs> oh man, they were the perfect couple. Uh, it's also the place Katakuri rolls over or something, but we know enough about Katakuri. I don't, I've already made, I feel like, seven videos on that dude. We don't need to make another video on Katakuri. But you know there's one member of the Charlotte family in particular that I feel like is very much underrepresented. I've never made a video about this dude, so the first thing we're going to tackle, I'm going to do this in alphabetical order, except for this one, the, the first island we're talking about. I have to start this off strong, okay? Boom! You know what this island is? This is a random island that just happened to be one of the places that Luffy was jumping out of the mirror world trying to escape Big Mom. We only saw it very, very briefly in the manga. Did not get a name. It obviously has, like, chips and french fries, so there's obviously some kind of potato theme here. Um, so I don't know, Irish Island? I, I don't know. But uh, yes, it turns out I actually did get the name of it correct. It is not just the unnamed Potato Island. It is, in fact, Potato Island. But do you know who the minister of Potato Island is? That's right. It's the man himself, Charlotte Snack, who has probably the best title in all of Totland. Are you ready for this? Snack is a, his official title. He had to be decreed by this. Big Mom probably had to pull out Napoleon and knight him as the Minister of French Fries. <laughs> that sounds like a mascot at a fast food restaurant. Come to Burger Capital, where we have the Minister of French Fries here till 3 o'clock, handing out free fries to all the kids, 12 and under. Holy crap, that's great. I want you to try that. Next time you go into your favorite fast food restaurant, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, I don't know, if we're talking just straight up French fries, okay, and this is a hotly debated, you know, issue in America, what fast food joint has the best French fries? I'm gonna go with Wendy's. I mean, they didn't always, but Wendy's, they changed their recipe around a few years back. They had the sea salt. My God, French fries at Wendy's are godly, and I actually am probably going to go try some of those later today because now I'm getting craving. But go into whatever fast food restaurant you want and place your order like normal, but at the very end, right when you're about to pay, tell the cashier, by the way, I just wanted to let uh, the chef know, it's a chef, I am the minister of French fries. And I hereby decree to everyone in this restaurant, I want a sampling of your finest French fries. Now listen, I know what you're going to be thinking if you actually tried that. There's an 80% chance they just, you know, kick your ass right out of the restaurant. There's a 25% chance that they would probably have you committed. And there's a negative 15% chance, but it's, it's very unlikely, but it's possible. They might actually believe you. And the cashier will bow to your magnificence right there and be like, oh, 
I am honored to be in your presence, Lord Minister of French Fries. We have a special bucket we reserved for you. We never thought this day would come. And they pull out an epic golden French fry bucket. And they take every single fry out of the fryer. And they throw it all in there at once. And they pile on enough salt to, like, cause a lethal reaction upon only eating one fry. But they give that to you. And you walk out with your giant gilded bucket of fries. And like, man... It's good to be the minister of french fries. And you know what? I know Snack probably does that as well. You know, Snack is always an interesting character. He used to be a sweet commander. He was probably the weakest one. If we just go by their bounties, he did have the lowest. Snack's bounty is 600 million. Katakuri's is obviously over a billion. Smoothies is like 900 million something. And Snack's is like 800 million. I mean, uh, Crackers is like 800 million something. But yeah, uh, Snack's is at the lowest. And he was beaten by a rouge. Which, I mean, like... I always used to think Arouge was just the weakest out of the supernovas, but maybe you have a different viewpoint on that. It's just, you know, he didn't really leave a much of an impression back at Sabote. So he got his ass kicked by Arouge. He got kicked out of the freaking uh, Sweet Commanders, but he's still pretty strong and he looks like a giant potato and he is the minister of French fries. So you got to give him credit where credit is due, sir. Okay, but anyway, that's Snack. Are we going to get to see more of him? Well... I hope he came with the raid in Dewano. I don't think we saw him on the boat, but he could always be there. There's also the theory that maybe Big Mom sent another ship around Wano, so they could be a distraction, and then that other ship gets on. So maybe we'll see Snack in Wano. Maybe we'll see him tango with Queen or King or somebody. I don't know. But anyway, the rest of these we're just going to go through alphabetical order, and we're actually starting off with Smoothie's Island. So Smoothie actually had a title as the Minister of Juice, so we figured, and also she's a sweet commander, she's pretty strong, so we figured she was going to have her own island, which she does. However, I just assumed it would be like Juice Island, you know, or Strawberry Splash Island or something, High Sea Island. No, it's actually a very uniquely named island. Uh, it has uh, numbers instead of letters, and it's 100% island. Of course, referring to, like, these are new high sea watermelon tropical blast with 100% juice. Take it, kids. Ugh, yeah, juiced up. So, yeah, I mean, if you ever go to the store and you're going to buy juice, you got to make sure you got the right percentages depending on what you want. Um, y you know, uh, do you remember Juicy Juice? I remember Juicy Juice as a kid. I, uh, I had three main beverages I drank as a kid. Milk, iced tea and Juicy Juice. I kind of whittled it down to just iced tea over the years. Although I have I have been drinking a little bit more milk lately. I found out something horrifying about milk. Do you want to know something horrifying about milk? Apparently, and don't get too excited about this. It's not like if you drink milk as an adult, you're going to die. It's just apparently when you're a kid, you can get away with drinking more milk, but the older you get, the more you can get sick if you drink too much of it. I guess that's from what I've heard. So, I mean, I still have, like, usually I have a tradition. Whenever I'm done editing a video, I go downstairs after I'm done editing, and I'm uploading the video to YouTube, and as a reward, I get myself a glass of milk, and I get two dark chocolate Oreos, and I sit here, and that's my little reward for finishing a video every day. So I have, like, a glass of milk probably once a day, so that's not going to hurt you, but if you drink too much of it, you can get sick. And I actually drank too much of it when I was a kid once, and I did end up getting sick. I was drinking so much milk, the doctor actually told my dad he could not have more than two cups of milk a day. And my dad had to get out a freaking measuring cup and measure how much milk I would consume, because I was just drinking too much of it. So, yeah, be careful, guys. Milk! Dangerous beverage. It can mess you up. Alright, the next island. This is a cool one. This is a new island. So, um, this was actually revealed before the magazine came out. So, remember that scene in the manga when Chiffon and Beige are heading to uh, Puff's Island to try to lure away uh, Big Mom to eat the cake and everything? Chiffon has a map of Totland that she's looking at, and this is what it looks like in the manga. And you get to see a few more islands on there, like Millinge Island and Rokumitsu Island. We didn't know about those islands yet, but in the anime, they expanded even more. We got Flavor Island and Package Island and, and freaking Black Island, which is the one that is governed by the minister of tea, Dosmarch, and he is the 14th son. He's also uh, a triplet between uh, Baskart and uh, Nostort. So, uh, yeah, he is the minister of tea, so Black Island, so like Black Tea, or like, you know, Earl Grey Tea, you know, Green Tea, all these different varieties of tea. We never actually saw Black Island, but yeah, this is the island governing tea, so that's where I'm going if I ever visit Totland. I think I already asked that question last time, like, what's your, what is the island 
you would visit. If, hey, Big Mom is done. She's not in Totland anymore. This is the prime time to take a vacation to Totland if you're going to do it. You don't have to worry about Big Mom freaking out and wrecking an island. I don't think Big Mom probably has her hunger pangs for, uh, for tea all too often. But hey, they have the islands, so it might have happened at some point. Hey, you got you got to wet your whistle at some point, you know, but hey, that, yeah, this is the time to visit. Okay, so the next island, uh, it's actually an island we've seen before. It was one of the last islands we ever saw in the manga, and this is uh, Cutlery Island. Okay, so makes sense. Not every single island has, you know, just having to do with food it itself, you know, like Peanuts Island or anything. No, um, this island is all about making various uh, cutlery, and also there's, a, there's Table Town, which is in, responsible for making tables and stuff for the place, you know? So that makes sense there. And uh, Mos Corpone, who's the 34th son who is a member of the Snake Neck tribe along with Jaskorapone, his twin sister, uh, is the one that is the minister of Cutlery Island. And yeah, it's one of the last places we saw. Uh, another island that we got, this was neat. I believe this island was name dropped in the manga, but we didn't get an actual see what it looked like. But then later on, Oda actually drew what it looked like. And this is Flavor Island. And Flavor Island is just really cool. It just has like a, like a gift wrap thing setting and like a bag lunge off to the side. Uh, Flavor Island is governed by Charlotte St. Mark, who is the 22nd son, and he looks pretty damn cool. Uh, he is, in fact, the Minister of Essence. So, I, I guess, I don't know what exactly Flavor Island would entail, because flavor is just a general term for how food tastes. So, maybe under that giant, you know, present thing on Flavor Island, there's like a laboratory or a factory. Maybe St. Mark, he kind of looks like a battle-hardened warrior kind of dude, but maybe he's a genius scientist who knows he would join the legions of uh, a freaking judge who yeah this guy doesn't look like a scientist at first glance but hey who knows and he's like we must figure out the best essence of all of the foods of totland i'm speaking in a really bad russian accent for him i don't know but he looks cool and yeah so minister of essence Next up, we have Futoru Island, or also known as Filling Island, and the minister of this one is Mobile. Oh god, Mobile. Alright, this has been like... Uh, Alright, so a few videos ago, I don't remember which one, I said, oh yeah, Mobile is a member of the Charlotte family. I think it was the review when we got to see Big Mom arriving at Wano. And then someone corrected me and said, oh, no, Mobile is not an actual member of the Charlotte family. And sure enough, I go on the wiki and he's not listed as a family member. And I'm like, oh, okay. So Mobile must just be a regular combatant then. Like, he must just be a member of the crew, like uh, Tamago or Peckoms or whatever. Okay, fine. He's a long arm member. But then the magazine comes out. He's like, no, 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 no. He's actually a Charlotte member. I'm like, damn it. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yes, he is the freaking... He's the son, he's the 31st son, and he's the minister of tasting. He apparently has, this is a very interesting fun fact, he has the most refined palate out of everyone in the land of Tot. And so his job on Filling Island is to, I guess, taste test all of the new foods coming down the pipeline and see if they meet his uh, high standards. Like, this pie is most unsatisfactory! That's how I imagine he talks. Send it back to the Pie Pie Island. That's an actual place. We'll get to it in a second. Have Campo redo his entire recipe from scratch! You know, that's that's how I imagine it is. He is he is the harshest food critic in all of Wano. But hey, not Wano, sorry. He is the harshest... Well, okay, maybe in Wano he he's there. He's there in Wano! We saw him on the ship! So, he's gonna be going around Wano critiquing all of the soba and everything. Like, oh, these dongo are horrendous! He's like the Gordon Ramsay. If Gordon Ramsay was a very high-pitched... I don't know if that's how he actually talks, but I just find it funny. A very high-pitched, whiny food critic. Okay, let's just go with that, right? But, uh, yeah, he has uh, a very important job in Totland. So, yes, but Charlotte Mobile, long arm tribe member, officially a son of the family, 31st son, minister of tasting. We got that! We good! Okay, who's next? Okay, this is a fun one. This is, uh, I mentioned this last time, but I just want to make a correction, okay? You guys remember Moscato, right? Moscato is like the first Charlotte we get to see outside of Big Mom, of course. Pretty cool, right? He immediately gets killed by her. Uh, he, she uses her soul, soul powers to rip out 40 years of his soul back when she was going on that Krog Kembush rampage. Moscato tries to stop her. He is the Minister of Gelato, which for some reason in the last video I thought meant he is the Minister of Gelatin? 
gelato is not gelatin. It sounds similar, and I don't know, he had crazy two-tone hair, so I just assumed. But no, he is actually um, the minister of Sherbert Town on Ice Island. And Ice Island is really cool. I, am, I originally imagined Ice Island as like a frozen like winter island that had like frozen TV dinners stuck into the side of the mountain or whatever. But no, it's actually a little bit more tropical. It's kind of like uh, ice cream, you know? So it's like a tropical island that has a giant thing of ice cream and you chill out on the beach and it's like, ooh, it's a sweltering day. Ah, oh, some lemon lime sherbet. Oh, that's so refreshing to have some, or some shaved ice on the beach. That's the kind of gist Ice Island is. But I felt like I should just mention it. Because I do like Moscato's design, and it does kind of suck uh, that he got uh, taken out so early. He's actually not dead, though, because apparently what happened is, um, after he got the soul ripped out of him by Big Mom, he did die. But I guess what you can do is, you can, like, maybe scrape together a little bit of the soul essence left, and you could throw it back into him. And I'm, I'm guessing his uh, lifespan was definitely short shortened considerably but he is still alive right now we see him later on in the manga so i just wanted to correct that with him um let's see what else we also have these are some other islands that i've already mentioned but just to mention their uh, ministers or maybe a few fun facts about them we have jam island one of the first islands we find out about it's on that map that pudding drew the straw hats so jam island's minister is dakoi I'm sorry I have a note here, I just gotta make sure I get these names somewhat in the ballpark. That's still not accurate, but somewhere in the ballpark. And he is the 24th son, kinda reminds me of Mr. Five a little bit. And he is actually from Slime Town, or Slimy Town. Alright, that's pretty messed up. You know, it's like, oh yeah, we get to live in Totland. We can live anywhere we want. Where do you want to hunker down at? How about we go to Jam Island and we move to Slimy Town? I'm like... Ew, like everything has like a slimy film to it. Just like you're walking down the street and it's just... You open the door to your house and it's just like... You know, it's like, why would that be fun? But all right, slimy town, sure. Uh, then we have Jelly Island. Now, I was also confused by this because here in the States and maybe other places in the world, okay, so jam and jelly are sometimes used interchangeably when you're talking about the uh, the topping you put on toast. You know, he's like, oh, get some jelly to put on there or put some jam to put on there, okay? Uh, when in reality, I wasn't thinking and I was like, wait a second, not jelly in the sense of like, you know, like jam, jelly in the sense of like gelatin. So this was the gelatin island, you know, like like little gelatin candies, you know, and jello itself, you know, so there's an island based around jellies and, uh, uh, Charlotte Conton, who is the 27th son, is uh, the minister here. He's also one of the brothers, I believe, of Kato. And Kato is the uh, minister of seeds uh, for a later island. And he is like the pumpkin-headed dude, which we originally assumed was going to be a homie because he looks just on you. Like, look at the dude. Like, he doesn't look like an actual human. I mean, if you compare him to everybody else and I mean, Big Mom's families are pretty weird, you know, but it's just like... You know, he, he's kind of the odd man out, even in that group, you know, so whatever. But anyway, yeah, that's the uh, Jelly Island. Next up, we have Kibo Island, or Yeast Town, and uh, Charlotte Mariner, who I believe actually looks a lot like Garnet from Steven Universe. I always think of Garnet whenever I see her. She is the 13th daughter, and she is the Minister of Yeast. Um, then, oh, oh, and also, I have to mention, uh, the island's uh, town is also known as Kubo Town. <laughs> So, um, apparently, uh, they're really big fans of Bleach on, uh, on, uh, Kibo Island, you know? So, it's like everybody in Kubo Town, everybody has a complete collection of Bleach in their house. It's required by law. You have to have it. Everyone is, has a different, you know, favorite Bleach character, and they all know everything about the series. That's Kubo Town. All right, moving on. We have Kimi Island, which is the Egg Island, and that is governed by uh, Citron, who is the 15th daughter and the uh, twin sister of Smoothie. Uh, then we have Kinko Island, which is governed by Noisette, who is the 15th son, who is the Minister of Finance. So this is one of the islands that really has nothing to do with food whatsoever. One of the few examples of that has nothing to do with uh, food itself or packaging food or any item that involves eating food. This is the island that just deals with the finances of 
of uh, I keep saying Wano, the finances of Totland, which you'd figure you got a giant, you got an economy basically, you got 35 islands, somebody has to be keeping track of the taxes here, you know, and that is Noiset's job. So you know what? I don't, I don't envy that dude in the slightest. He's the one that has to keep all of the numbers, how much food is coming into freaking Totland, how much Big Mom is shoveling down her freaking pie hole every day, you know, and just like, okay, oh man, are we gonna be able to crack the budget? I, 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 he has a, probably an entire team of secretaries helping him out. I do not envy that dude's job in the slightest, all right? But that is Kinko Island. So the next island is a cool one. It's Liquor Island, and we actually do get to see this in the manga and the anime. It's the island that Beige was originally going to dump the cake off out of, uh, but then uh, Chiffon stated, oh, well, let's, let's keep on going to Puffs Island to make sure that, you know, if Big Mom eats the cake at Liquor Island, she could still turn back around. So let's go all the way to Puffs Island to make sure she can't just double back, which she does anyway, but you know what I mean. So uh, Liquor Island we do get to see, but we don't find out anything else about it. It has Gin Town, of course, referring to gin, you know, alcohol, and uh, the minister is the minister of alcohol himself, the minister of liqueur, Zucato, who is the 11th son. And I was always curious about the 11th son, because we didn't know about him for a long time. We knew 5 through 9 was Opera and his uh, brothers, the quintuplets, and number 10 was Cracker, and number 12 was uh, Nastort. But we didn't know 11, I just felt like weird, and we did see Zucato up until that point, it's just that we didn't know he was the 11th son. So, yeah, there you go. I, I originally assumed it would be funny if the minister of Liquor Island was like, a, you know, he was a believer in temperance. You know, he didn't actually drink alcohol and he was like a sober dude or he was either he would go a complete other opposite spectrum and he's like trashed 24 seven. But no, Sukaju appears to be a, a reasonably, you know, powerful dude and he's not just trashed all the time. So, hey, you got to give him a hand there for living on freaking uh, Liquor Island. Oh, man, I, it's it's sad. They don't have anything to drink but alcohol. No, I'm sure they have water, but, you know, it's, it's funnier to think that. All right, so moving on to page two. Oh, yeah. Even though we have uh, only a few extra islands, like, it was only, like, ten. There were a few that I got wrong. I had to go back and correct, and then there was the few we didn't know the actual names of and everything. But here's a new one. We got Loving Island and Love Town with Minister Cornstarch, who is the 11th daughter of the family. And, uh, yeah, Love Love Town. I'm, I'm assuming that's the island that really gets a lot of business around Valentine's Day. Is there a Valentine's Day in One Piece? There's a Valentine's Day in One Piece. So, you know, they, they set up that place. Oh, and Mother's Day, too. Mother's Day is the most important holiday in all of Totland. That's like a dogmatic one. You know, that's like May Day. You know, it's just like, this is the day we all honor Big Mom. We all love our mother. Mother's Day, you know, okay, but um, no, so you got Mother's Day, but you also have Valentine's Day, you go into the store right now, you know, you can see aisles of just nothing but those giant, ridiculously huge heart candy boxes, you're like, here you go, darling, I got you a truckload of chocolate, oh my god, I was in Walmart the other day, I, I saw a huge Hershey bar, and when I say a huge Hershey bar, I'm not, I don't mean like the king sized, I don't mean like, oh, you know, here's the size of a regular Hershey bar, and here's the king size, no, guys, this, this, this thing was bigger than my pillow, like, I'm not even kidding you, it was about the size of the Pokemon Master Trainer board game, all right, now, I'm not even shitting you, it was this big, all right, and I look at this thing, and I'm like, how much sugar is in this? And it's solid chocolate. So I look on, I, I pick it up off the shelf. They almost all fall down. I flip it over. I'm looking on the back of it. And it's like one serving is like 145th of the bar. And it's like almost a thousand. I, I calculated it out. And it was like, it was like, it was in the thousands of grams of sugar. Like if you were to eat that whole chocolate bar in one setting, I'm pretty sure you would go over the lethal dose for sugar and you would die. But holy crap, that thing was huge. So yeah, freaking Love Island is the place where you get all of that stuff. You know, the giant heart-shaped candies and stuff that only come out on Valentine's Day. It adds a special kind of flavor to Totland. You know, sometimes maybe Big Mom is like, yeah, I, I, want, I want those little tiny chocolates that they only sell on Valentine's Day. I'm like, I'm sorry, Mama, we don't have those. I'm like, make an island just to make those. I'll be like, okay, fine. 
All right, so next we have, uh, oh, okay, this is Galette's Island. So Galette, um, 18th daughter, pretty sexy, you know. Um, she has the power of the Bata Bata no Mi, and she's also the minister of butter, butter. So I just assumed she came from Butter Island. No, she actually comes from Margarine Island because Margarine is like a butter substitute, you know, so I guess it would be just too cliche even for Oda to be like, Butter Island, Butter Minister, Butter Butterfruit. Just, you might as well just call her Butter, you know, Charlotte Butter at that point, you know, but yeah, Galette, I like Galette, you know, I think she's, yeah, she's a Wano, we can see what she's up to. So the next island is another one that had, uh, some contention to it, alright, so in that map that we get to see, Sh uh, Chiffon use in the manga, you get to see an island that looks like Millen's Island, and I was like the hell is Millens? And I was looking around trying to find, could not find anything about it. And so uh, we actually find out that the C is actually a G. So it's like, oh, it's not Millens Island, it's Millinge Island. Okay, now it all makes sense. I still have no idea what this means, but Marangu Town is there, and the minister of Marangu is Charlotte Broye, who is the um, uh, twin sister of uh, Charlotte Brule. And uh, Marangu is like a French dessert. It's basically, you can have it like pie, but there's also cookies. And it's basically like cookies that have like the, the, the topping, like the whipped cream topping on them. So they look pretty delicious. That's Marangu. So Millinge probably has something to do with that. But there's another island that has to deal with like cream and stuff. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But Broye is the one that um, rules over this place. And she is the ninth daughter right after Brule. So, yeah. Also, I love the comparison between these two. Like, even if you discount the fact that Brule has a pretty bad scar on her face that she got when she was a kid, there seems to be, like, they're twin sisters. They were born at the same time, yet it looks like there's a 30-year age gap between them. But, okay, whatever. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was Millinge Island. Oh, next up is, um, <laughs> this is gonna be your favorite. I guarantee you this is gonna be your favorite. Okay. Um, mm. So, you know how Opera is the minister of whipped cream, right? Pretty obvious the dude has the whipped cream devil fruit, right? Okay. So, I just assumed Cream Island? Whipped Island? No, he rules over Noko Island, which literally translates to Thickness Island. Thick Island. Yep. Opera's thick. Which he is! I mean, alright, fine. Um, but yeah, thick in, in the context of, like, you know, cream. Like, thick cream, and you slather it on things, and th the thickness, you know? Not thick in the sense of... Okay, yeah, we all know where we're going with this, okay? Now, Opera might be dead. We don't know, 100%. Uh, Big Mom just kind of grabbed him and started, like, tossing around town. So she might have ripped out his soul and or they might have done the same thing with um, uh, Moscato and grabbed up the soul and threw it back into him. He might be still around. We haven't seen him yet, but it's not really a big deal because Opera has like four other brothers uh, th that make up from the sixth to the ninth, including Charlotte Gala, who is the only Charlotte we've yet to never see in the series. Not once. The only time we see him is during when uh, Oda actually drew him in the magazine. So there's Charlotte Gala. Um, he is the, the ninth son and he's the youngest out of the quintuplets, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess they could replace him rather easily. Uh, and then there was, like, Cadenza and Cabarella, the ones that, like, beat the crap out of Luffy when they were part of the arranged army. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Opera hails from, uh, Thick Island. Mm-hmm. Now I, now I know, like, a lot of people's like, oh, I know what island I'm gonna visit when I go to, I don't, I go to Totland. How many times have I almost accidentally said guano in this video instead of Totland? You know, at, at, at certain points, it's just like, I'm not going to go back and edit. You know, it's at some point, it's a running gag, you know? All right, so what's next? We got Package Island, which is the place that Nustort rules over, who is Captain Crunch, apparently. He's also the one that got the crap beat out of him by the Germa Double Six. Uh, however, Panda Man was in that crowd. Even with Panda Man's help, he couldn't, you know, couldn't save his ass and, uh, yeah, he got beaten down. But Panda Man's okay, so that's all that matters. Nustort, you know, he seems like a rather um, important Charlotte. We at least focus on him a lot during meetings and everything. He has, like, a, I guess his hat 
hat, his little bicorn hat is a homie because it's able to like look around and it can like spit out needles and stuff. So yeah, and he has a sword on his back. So that's, that's Nustort. Uh, we then, oh yeah, and Package Island. Yeah, that's the island he rules over. He's the Minister of Transport. So once again, not really dealing with food directly, but like, hey, you got to figure out a way to get food from transfer from one island to the other. You know, it's just like, hey, uh, we're over here on freaking uh, like Cacao Island and we need some whipped cream from Millinge Island and Thick Island and we need to ship this across the country and it's a bad storm and that's when Nustort arrives. It's like, leave it to me, the minister of transport will see this shipment through if it means the end of me. You know, everyone, men, stock the ships. We're doing this and he sails through top land and it's like this this epic sea shanty in the background like let's sit right back and you'll hear a tale a tale of captain crunch he sails the hearty seas of tot land and he knows his lunch he is nostor now so he's like sailing the seas making sure that things get where they need to be he's the tot land equivalent of fedex okay so yes that's that's nostor um man i need to go watch some gilligan's island i remember watching gilligan's island on like nick at night back in the day man i love that theme song I always, I always found it funny on Gilligan's Island how they could never get off the island, yet every other week there was always a special guest star that somehow found themselves stuck on the island. Oh, 1960s television is crazy. Um, next up we have Pie Pie Island. There's the Pie Island. I was really confused that there was no Pie Island the last time I was talking about this. I was also equally confused, and I still am. There is no island in Totland, at least not one that I could see directly in the naming scheme, that has to deal with meat. And it's just like, what? That's a huge part of Luffy's diet. That's all of Luffy's diet. Now, Oven rules over um, Yakigase Island, which is, and he's the minister of browned food, and he's Oven. So maybe his island is the one that's in charge of, like, meats. You know, because you gotta cook meat and stuff. My mom's actually making ribs right now. I'm gonna be eating right after this, along with my Oreos. But, uh, yeah, that's the only island I can think of. There's certainly no island that has, like, a giant, you know, chicken drumstick there. Or, uh, cows all over the place. Like, giant, giant slab of, like, mutton on the side of the mountain or anything. So, yeah, unfortunately. Um... But yeah, Pai Pai Island is uh, governed by Minister of Pai, Campo, who is the 17th son. He's a rather tiny looking fellow, uh, wears a mask and glasses and stuff. But uh, yeah, this man right here, he, he knows his pies. He knows his pies. I can act, I know my pies too. Pie is actually not that hard to make altogether. I mean, like maybe if you make like the pie crust yourself from scratch, maybe a little bit extra time to do that. I've never done that before, but the act of actually just making a pie, and I'm not even talking about just getting pie crust and dumping the mix into it, making your own mix, at least with pecan pies. I made an apple pie once. They're really not that hard. Um, so yeah, if, if you're into pie, you know, make a pecan pie. They're, they're not that hard to make and they come out looking pretty good. Um, okay, next up is a potato island, but we already talked about that with snack. So moving right along, to Rokumitsu Island. This was another one when I was looking at the thing on the map. I was like, Rokumitsu? What the hell? Okay, so you know what? It's a number gag. It's a number gag. The same thing with Luffy being five and six and Katakuri being five, seven. You know, Oda just loves his number gags, okay? So I guess Roku as in six and the uh, town on Rokumitsu Island is Nana Mitsu and Nana as in seven and in Japanese, Hachimitsu means honey. And so the minister of Rokumitsu Island is Flampe, who is the minister of honey. So there you go. It's like Rokumitsu, which is Roku, Roku, it can also mean seasoning. And then the town is Nana for seven, but she's the minister of honey, which is eight. So, there you go. Do you get it now? Alright. Um, I would spend more time about this island, but uh, I hate Flampe. She is a horrible human being, and I'm not going to talk about her for longer than I have to. She's a giant balloony uh, bunt. So, yes. Um, moving on to uh, Tenega. Tenega T Tengu Island. Brunchy Tengu is in One Piece. That's awesome. I love that guy from Toriko. No, it's uh, Tenega Island. And this is uh, the island where I guess a lot of vegetables grow because this is the Minister of Seeds, Charlotte Kato, who is the 28th son. All right, so this is the dude that has the pumpkin for a head we originally thought was some sort of, like, scarecrow homie. And he's talking to Pedro. He's like, ah, so you're Pedro. So we just assumed that there's, like, a scarecrow homie that's really creepy.
creepy, and then that's the one that has uh, Pedro's soul that got ripped out by Big Mom. But no, he's just a regular Charlotte family member. Uh, he even has two brothers, and it's just that he's the weird man out. Unless he's wearing some kind of, like, mask or something. He was just like, I, I, I work with vegetables. I need to be a vegetable. So, Minister of Seeds. It makes sense. We already have Fruits Island that's governed by the first daughter, Compote. So, it would make sense you'd have some sort of vegetable island, you know, that grows all of uh, the zucchinis and the rutabagas and the the uh, the hearty, uh, you know, uh, pumpkins. Yes, of course, the pumpkins need to exist. And it's Halloween on Wano. You need to get your jack-o'-lantern somewhere, you know? So that makes sense. Uh, we got two islands left that are uh, previously unknown. We got Three Meals Island that is governed by Charlotte Shebaust, who is the 30th son. And Three Meals Island, uh, I don't know, just to make sure everybody gets their three meals of the day. I, I don't know how that works, you know? Like, the, the island is, like, Shaobos. He has, like, a giant timetable in front of him. And he's just like, okay, everybody, what is the time frame? What is the time frame? Current time, go, go, go. It's 5.30, 5.30. Breakfast is in exactly one hour, sir. We need to get those eggs and biscuits and freaking butter toast in front of Big Mom in one hour or we are going to be eating our own asses. Do you hear me? This is Three Meals Island. We keep track of this. And then it's like everyone chills out for a while. They're like, okay, we did it, guys. Breakfast was a success. And then, you know, lunch. It's like, okay, now get working on lunch. We need to get that lunch here right now. You know, it's like, um, it's like an action movie or something. You know, it's like, oh, Big Mom wants brunch. Oh, man, she just threw a whole freaking mess. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. Because you figure Big Mom definitely eats more than three meals a day. She's got breakfast. You got brunch, lunch, dinner, dinner, and dinfist. Plus a midnight snack mixed in there somewhere, too. So, girl likes to eat. So, basically, yeah, you gotta get more than just three meals a day. But I'm sure Chow Boast is just the guy that, I don't know, that gets on the loudspeaker and like, Attention, it is now the official dinner time of Wano. I'm Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it in. Screw it. Whatever. A fun trivia fact. Did you guys know Totland is Wano? I, I, I'm throwing out a bunch of our parallels here. Who knows? We might find out later on in the story. They'll merge together or something. Turns out Wano was in the center of Totland this whole time. All right. Anyway, last new island we got. All right. We got Topping Island that is governed by the Minister of Topping's Charlotte Tablet, who is the 21st son. Now, Tablet is interesting. He is a rather short fellow that rides around on a giant ram, you know, because you don't make fun of him. Because, like, oh, you're short. Then the ram comes up to you and, boom, smacks you into the next place. Probably want to. But um, it's funny because he actually has a twin brother who is Charlotte High Fat, who isn't a minister, but he's huge. He's like one of the tallest, if not the tallest members of the family um, outside of Big Mom, of course. And he maybe kind of, because we don't got an official height on High Fat. I mean, we have comparisons in the anime and stuff, but we don't know exactly how tall he is, so Kata Curry might be taller, who knows. But he's a pretty tall giant dude. And then you have Tablet, who's his twin brother, who's this super short guy, like even shorter than me. I'm five foot five and a half. Don't forget the half. But this dude is like four foot nothing, so he has to ride around on this giant ram to strike terror in the hearts of his enemies. By the way, the Rams are actually going to be in the Super Bowl coming up. So, uh, yeah, good luck to the Rams. Right, okay. But anyway, um... I think that's everything. Uh, there's a few other ones. Like, there's Unique Island and uh, the Minister of, uh, uh, what is it? The Minister of Design, and that's Praline, uh, shown here revealing a lot of her cleavage for some reason. But yeah, that's that's Praline's island, so I just wanted to bring that up. But we knew about that for a while, but I don't think I mentioned it since the last time we did this video. But aside from that, I think we got every island nailed. Uh, like I said last time, it was a, few, it was a little bit confusing because I remember thinking there was a, a, a cheese island that Montdor rules over, but then there was a milk island. I don't know where I got that impression. Maybe we saw two different islands or whatever, or I saw it on a map or something. But uh, yeah, there is, no, there is in fact no milk island. It's cheese and milk. They're all dairy products. It's the same island. So yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, now I, I was thinking, I was considering doing a video on every single member of the Charlotte family. <laughs> Because all 85 of them have been revealed, which I love that about Oda. I mean, I've brought this up before. I've gushed about this. But I just love it when, you know, you have some, like a mangaka that actually says, Hey, listen, there are 35 islands. I actually have the designs for 35 of these islands. Even if we're not going to get to see them in the series, 
I have designs for them. I actually wrote them all down. Here you go. Even though we're not going to see every single member of the Charlotte family, we're not going to get, you know, action from all 85 of them, I do have designs for each one of them. I have names, I have what they do, what they look like, how they fight, what species they're from, all that kind of crap. And I, I just respect that. I really do. You know, because... You know, like, uh, in Sword Art Online, one of the most disappointing things about that series, aside from the main character, um, <laughs> is, uh, you know, I, I remember watching the first episode of Sword Art and being, like, really excited for what we were gonna, you know, what was gonna transpire in the plot. Like, they gotta go through up a hundred floors in order to get to the very top, and there's this, this ruby castle they gotta fight against. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. This series is gonna be super long, and they're gonna go into detail on each of the from like floor one to floor two and then they skip like 10 and then they skip 20 i think by like the third or fourth episode kirito's already at like the 50th floor it's like come on and then they end the game prematurely and i believe there is a video game that does cover the remaining like 25 floors of it but there's still like so many that you could tell the uh the author didn't actually plan on creating all of those floors it was more focused on the love story between kirito and asuna not so much about the world building but i love my world building man it's what i like and also like in bleach you know, Kubo comes out and says, you know, oh, there's a hundred Bakudos and there's a hundred Hottos, but yeah, we're only going to see like, I don't know, a dozen of each, you know, barely more than that. And we're just going to spam so cuts we all the time. Like, well, why did you bother saying there was a hundred if you didn't even come up with ideas for a hundred? You could have just said there were like 30 of each, you know, and then there you go. That I just don't like it when there's so many unanswered questions but oda man oda's got you covered he says there's 30 there's 35 islands he makes 35 islands he says there's 85 kids he reveals every single damn kid all right so mad respect for oda thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed our little insurgents back into the land of wano totland uh have a great night i'm gonna go have some ribs followed by some oreos while drinking some milk and probably should get some juicy juice later. See ya, everybody. Be careful, by the way, if you're going to get that giant Hershey bar.